Hey everybody, so we're just going to talk to the belly today because the belly is going to tell you all the secrets to a small waist. And you might see some, you know, crinkles, some marks on my stomach there, and that's just from leaning over. So when you're lean, you don't have much fat in that region, your skin crinkles up and you can get lines like that. And I've had some jelly bitches accuse me of having a tummy tuck. No, I haven't had a tummy tuck. I've just done all the right things to get a small waist and maintain a small waist. And that mirror is pretty fucking disgusting. But anyway, so how do you get a small waist? Okay, how do you get a small waist? Number one is to keep the salt intake low. Okay, that's probably my number one tip because I used to have a lot of salt in my diet and it just puffs out that region. It makes you, it fills in the waist. Okay, see how the waist is going in? It can fill in that region and make it look really blocky because you've got that extra water weight that is just gathering in that region. So you've got to keep the sodium low. I recommend, you know, mainly below 1000 milligrams of sodium per day. You can work that out at chronometer.com. Okay, so that's a number one tip. Keep the sodium low. If you eat out a lot, then it's almost impossible for you to keep your sodium intake low. So keep an eye on that. Okay, next thing is exercise. Yeah, you gotta train, okay? You gotta get out there, you gotta move your body. It's healthy. You know, it's not healthy to be sedentary and if you want a small waist, you're not going to get it if you're just sitting on your ass and calorie restricting like a lot of these programs are doing out there. So you've got to move your ass and the bike is a fantastic way to do that and running is really good as well. So definitely try that exercise. So we've got the salt and we've got the exercise and we have the fat. So this is a top three, okay? So fat intake. If you're having... Okay, for a start, if you're having animal fat in your diet, then forget about eating all you care for and maintaining a small waist long term. You're just not gonna do that, okay? You're gonna have to use stimulants and drugs and calorie restrict and all that bullshit that we do not wanna be a part of. So kick it to the curb, the animal fat. If you want a small waist, you gotta get the animal fat out of your diet. And then we go to fat, plant fats. So you don't want to have a lot of plant fats either. You know, just keep it to a minimum. Don't you don't have to be crazy about it. I still eat out and I'm fine, but I make a conscious effort to keep my intake low of fat and it makes all the difference. And some of you might be like, but healthy fats. What about the healthy fats, baby? The healthy fats are so important. I get this like comment so many times. Like, you get all the healthy fats you need from a plant-based diet, okay? And if you just eat fruits and veggies, you don't have to have avocado, you don't have to have nuts, you don't have to have animal products to get your healthy fats, okay? It's very, very easy to get enough fat in your diet. So don't worry about that, okay? Do not worry about healthy fats because you're gonna get enough. All right, so is that enough staring at my navel? The navel has so many stories to tell you, it has so much good advice. But seriously, before this lifestyle, I had a thicker waist and I had a lot more gel, I had like a jelly belly, I really did. But consistent time on this lifestyle, you know, staying dedicated, staying focused has given me a small waist. So they're my tips.